Welcome to Gus Tech. Today, we're going to move a computer from this case into this one. Welcome, welcome, to, welcome to Gus Tech. So, uh, like I said, today we're going to be moving a full-on computer, a gaming computer, bro from the Corsair 800D dick compensation case. <laughs> no, seriously, this thing is like freaking gigantic and it probably weighs a thousand pounds and I can lift it. We're gonna move it into the new Corsair 600C, which we reviewed in the description below. You can find a link to that video. That is a great case. It's much smaller than this, which like it's so it's still pretty big because this is retardedly huge and the benefit is it's way lighter with way better cooling performance so let's uh let's break down how you're going to take this and move it into um this thing okay let's do that okay cool so the first thing that you're going to notice when you're trying to take apart a computer and put it into a new one is that it's going to be dusty and disgusting especially when it's the Corsair 800D. Anyway, you don't really need to dust it off. You may want to dust off your components, but honestly, it's probably not that big a deal, so don't worry about it. The first most important thing is to unplug your power supply from everything. Preferably, first unplug it from your motherboard right here and right up here, and then go to your graphic card and unplug the PCI Express ports and then start getting into your SATA power. Again, you know, it shouldn't be plugged into the wall when you're doing this. You're freaking, you're not dumb, hopefully. YouTube is in it as a whole. And uh, yeah, we're gonna unplug everything. So we're just gonna do that really quick. We're gonna fast forward or skip ahead. I don't know, we're not very good at editing or making videos in general. Welcome to Gus Tech. Let's do that and then we'll move on to the next part. Make sure to remove the side and the other side panel. So both side panels is what I meant to say. Yep. Cables were so clean, but not anymore cause we're mean. Taking it apart to break its heart. I was actually a performance artist and then I got turned down on America's Got Talent. <laughs> yep. Make sure all your SATA power and Molex connections are undone. Your four pins and things like that. So basically you should be able to look at your case, as you can look at this and not be able to see any remnants of your power supply on the case. And uh, we're in good shape there. So now we can get the power supply out and then we'll start working on deconstructing the rest of it. Take your handy screwdriver, unscrew it, unscrew it. You know how to do that though. I don't have to tell you guys. You're a bunch of Gus Tech fans. You've seen the computer builds. Basically just go backwards, baby. All right. So, you gotta get the cables from the back side all the way out of there. And if you're anything like the guy that we got this case from, you're really anal retentive and your cable management's really good, even though it's the stupidest thing in the world. So, the, the, that's gross, but a nice little air duster can, you know, get it clean. Also a vacuum. I'm just kidding. Don't use a vacuum. Guys, you know this already. You've watched our videos. Don't use a vacuum when you're doing this. Use an air duster like that because that's, that's good. That's the right way to do it. There's no static electricity in there. Just, you know, harmful chemicals, which, you know, whatever. Who cares about that? Right? I mean, do you? So you may find there's some straggling cables here and there, you know, just try not to pull them from the ends and uh, get them on out of there. Hey, we did it. Now you get, get your power supply and just put it somewhere safe. The next part is the, the next obvious, most obvious part. Make sure that every cable is unplugged from your motherboard itself. So we're going to start with our cables down here at the bottom since these are often forgotten. Got your HD audios for the front panel. Probably got some USBs or USPs, as it's uh, pronounced properly in the tech world. Um, you probably got some little case fans, your you know, input, output, button control things. Just make sure everything's unplugged from your case that you can. 
and that'll include mostly fans uh, at this point. And the one last thing we need to unplug is our aftermarket CPU cooler. Um, and as long as you don't have any other, oh, I missed the SATA connections. So make sure those are all unplugged, obviously, that's important. Uh, SATA power can, or SATA, excuse me, SATA data, SATA data, baby, can be a little bit difficult uh, to get to. Most, not most, but a fair number of motherboards have them hidden behind the graphic card, as it was the case with this. I was able to get through and get behind it pretty easily, but if you can't, just take the graphic card out first. You know, use your brain, a little bit of common sense here. And how do we do that? Well, great question, YouTube as, as a whole. Uh, I'm glad that you're all watching. We're going to unscrew our graphic card and we're gonna support it just a little bit. Um, here's the thing. If you're moving a computer from one case to another, this isn't really like building a new computer entirely. A lot of this stuff is gonna be used. You probably moved your motherboard and your, your, your computer as a whole a couple times. So that means that we don't want to put any more undue stress on the graphic card than what's already on it because it's probably bent over the life of it being alive, of its lifetime. And uh, we just want to support it as we're getting it out so we don't have anything break on the back plate or the, anything like that. So we take it out, just kind of go straight out more or less, but make sure you press in this tab. This tab right here is crucially important. This holds in your PCI Express. So push that in, pull out, and it should come more or less straight out. So there's our graphic card. Ooh, pretty. Okay, let's get that out of here. Let's just actually clear out all the cables and get them out of our way. And I'm not going to show you the final portions of this because we're going to be removing the, the motherboard and the CPU. So when I'm going to be removing this, this motherboard and CPU and every, all this stuff, I'm going to want to have this, the case in, a, in its you know, sideways oriented laying on one side so that nothing falls and breaks. We've never dropped a processor here in Gus Tech, except for the one time that we did, and the processor didn't break. All right, let's talk about what we did. Um, we actually removed the aftermarket cooler that we had, which was the H100 Corsair. Uh, we removed it from here. You can see that the radiator is gone as well, and that leaves our CPU exposed. Um, you don't need to do that in most cases. We did have a radiator with it. It's just a lot easier if you do that when you have a radiator, at least disconnecting the fans. Um, that makes it a lot simpler, but you know, again, it, it's, a, it's more work. So if you don't wanna do that, that's fine too. Hey guys, now we're gonna move the motherboard into the new computer. Uh, we got everything, you know, taken out of the other one and uh, we're good with that, so we're gonna put it in this one now. Starting with the mother, it's just like a build now. So you could probably stop watching the video, but don't anyway, because we got a really cool surprise for you at the end. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are gonna do a Gus Tech special edition here. I'm gonna show you guys the process to clean off uh, thermal paste off of your CPU and the cooler. Uh, it's the same process for the CPU and the cooler, so we're just going to show you the CPU. Make sure you get some uh, alcohol. This is rubbing alcohol, 50% isopropyl, isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol. And uh, yeah, this is rubbing alcohol. It's pretty simple, guys. And uh, we're going to go ahead and dip our Q-tip in there. And uh, don't worry about it being, you know, a little wet. I mean, it doesn't really matter because that's why you're using alcohol, you're not using water. So I'm gonna put that to the side for just a second. Get our CPU out. Remember, always ground yourself. Uh, a computer case will ground you when you're, hop when you're handling this. So here is our processor. We don't want this to fall and break. That'd be really bad. Okay, so real simple. Take a Q-tip and just start being real friendly with it. Don't get like pushing it really hard, just soft. And it's going to be pretty cool. It'll start to just dissolve right off, as you can see, from that wet side there. And you're going to have to repeat this process a few times. So I got three different Q-tips to be able to kind of 
get it all off. But again, don't be aggressive with it. Just kind of rub. It'll slowly start to dissolve off and get onto your Q-tip. And uh, anyway, this process probably takes a couple minutes. So just go slow, be patient, don't scratch it. Try not to get any alcohol on the other side, you know, the actual transistors on the other side. Again, it doesn't really matter because it will fully evaporate, but just don't anyway, just for fun. All right, Gus Tech boys and girls, as you can see, we have our motherboard mounted, uh, screwed in. Again, you want to screw in every single point that you can on the motherboard because those are to ground the motherboard so it won't blow up and cause a nuclear winter. Um, <clears throat> we are now going to put in our graphic card. Now, again, this isn't really probably going to follow the totally normal structure of building a computer and putting everything in. We already know where everything goes and how it's all going to fit. So we're just going to slam a jam a banana it and throw it in there and... Uh, get all these cables plugged in to their proper locations for the I.O. ports and then we'll throw in the power supply once we have everything all plugged in with the cooler on here as well for the CPU and the fans and then we'll start plugging in the power supply cables and uh, we'll fire this baby up and we'll freaking get after it you know what I mean okay that was my poly Shore impersonation I'm sorry let's get the graphic card in there now remember this guy is going to be mounted to the wrong way or the right way actually i don't really know i don't know what i'm talking about Ooh, look at the top it's so pretty we're finally going to see it for the first time and uh, just go ahead and slide it on in there just like you would any other one except upside down boom we are in place all right boys and girls here we have a transmutated, transmogrified computer. We moved all the, the things from the big behemoth of a case to compensate for a little wee-wee, moved it into a man's case where, you know, efficiency and power is what we're about. Uh, as you can see, everything lined up all great. Let's show you the rat's nest in the back. Oh my goodness, it's a little heavy, but that's all right. Here at Gus Tech, we don't care how it looks back here because that's stupid. So uh, let's go ahead and wrap this baby up, put the covers on it, and call it a call it a game, video game even. Really boring video game. And there you have it, boys and girls. This is a computer, and uh, that's it. So let's move it out of the way. She can see my beautiful face. <laughs> okay. Guys, uh, links in the description to, you know, the case, a lot of the components for this computer, even though it's a little bit older one, it's all still relevant and wonderful. Um, you know, thanks for hitting that like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment if you need something to be responded to by somebody other than us probably, but we occasionally do respond to those as well. And we are Gus Tech. As always, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.